at the Muslim Eye Today thing, my biggest thing was they were asking me to do tips on parenting, tips on single parenting. The biggest tip I can give a human being is work on you. You want to be a better employee, work on you. You want to be a better father, work on you. You want to be a better husband, work on you. Better wife, work on you. Work on you is the main thing. And what I mean work on you, I mean work on the mindset. As I was leaving the Muslim Eye today, two women stopped me. One was almost in tears, almost begging for help. Because her daughter, she said, was in depression. She was in depression, hasn't seen her grandchildren for a little while. I know of another situation where the mother is using the little five-year-old or six-year-old girl as a tool against the father. They're divorced now. Like, you'll never see your daughter in your life again. That blows my mind. Why do we as adults do stuff like that? So with the Tasneem Ahmed Basha thing, they are passionate about just helping people see that if we can control our mindset, we can develop that incrementally, it's amazing what we can do. And she'll cover the mind first thing. And for me, it hurt me the most when I saw that women in Linasia, now I'm saying Linasia because that's where it was, it's all over the place. And you know what? I said this is the Muslim thing and I'll say it again, I say it to everybody. I'm not into women bashing, men bashing. I don't think all men are dogs. Uh, I don't think all women are whatever. I mean, I just don't. It's not in my vocabulary because I don't think it makes sense. Because honestly, now you think about it. Okay, so we say all men are dogs. Okay, so you walk around as a woman in your home and you've got a son and a daughter and your ex-husband or your husband does not do what you want to do or doesn't behave in a manner that you think is appropriate or does something wrong for that matter. And now you tell your daughter all the time, yeah, all men are dogs, all men are dogs, or your fathers are rubbish. Really? And then we wonder why she ends up marrying someone like that. Because her whole life, and then you must remember a child eh, is from two parents. From two. Even if the couple splits up, the child did not split up. The child is from two parents. And for me, that's heartbreaking to see how parents will make it like this child mustn't now see the other parent. Really? And then you tell the child all the time that your father is such a bad person or the father tells the child, your mother, don't be like your mother. Honestly, why? Now, if that child has 50% of that child at least is from the mother or from the father, what you indirectly tell the child is I hate 50% of you. You honestly want to say that to your child? Do you know the trauma that goes to the child when, because that child doesn't know how to articulate it. They don't know how to say how they're feeling. But they grow up, their being knows that there's something defective in them. Why? Because their whole childhood, you made them feel like there's something defective in them because their father is 50% of them. Or their mother, don't be like your mother. Really? Of course she's going to be like a mother. She's going to have some aspects like a mother. Is that bad? No. Some characteristics that her mother has are not bad and she's going to have it. But because you don't like her mother anymore, so you decided, no, um, I don't like that, that thing irritates me about your mother. Yeah, but it's not bad, it's not wrong. It's just that you have your issue with it. But why should you, ch don't have the issue with the child. And the same with the father as well, it's 50% of the child. You tell your son all the time, you know, your father is such a bad person, such a rubbish, you know, I hate him. It's the worst decision I ever made, it's the worst man in this world. Don't be like your father, don't turn out like him. Honestly, what you're indirectly telling your son is, I hate you, I hate 50% of you. Why would you do that? And then your son, when he grows up, he is going to exhibit certain characteristics of his dad. Of course he's going to, we all know that. And when he does, he's going to be shy to tell you, he's going to be scared that you're going to hate that part of him. Because he knows he's like his dad to some degree. And he's going to know that you hate some part of him. So I say, I, it 